Well, good morning, and this week I'm continuing in my reading of 1 Corinthians. And we've seen Paul, in his letter, really give it to the Corinthian church for their arguing and the dissensions among them. Uh, he's not really tiptoeing around the situation, but rather he is getting right to the point. And so in chapter 5, Paul brings up the immorality that's taken place at the church. It's almost as if the church was somewhat proud that they had a love that could overlook such sin. But instead, it was actually defiling the church. And so Paul says in verse 9, I wrote to you in my letter not to associate with sexually immoral people. I did not at all mean with the sexually immoral people of this world, or with the greedy and swindlers, or with idolaters. For then you would have to leave the world. But actually, I wrote to you not to associate with any so-called brother if he is a sexually immoral person, or a greedy person, or an idolater, or is verbally abusive, or habitually drunk, or a swindler, not even to eat with such a person. Well, first of all, there are consequences for believers in direct dis disobedience to God. And God wants us to address sin in the church and snuff it out. He doesn't want it to continue and fester and bring others away from him. And as Paul says, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be around the world, because we need to be in the world, but not of the world. So the world needs to see us living differently and see a change in our lives. And I have this talk with teenagers quite often, that they should stand out on their basketball team or soccer team, or even at school. Stand out as being different because they're not swearing or, or telling dirty jokes but also because of that love that they have that they show to others. Those are all things that really stand out in our world today. And that's why shining brightly for the world to see is so important. You know, if we blend in with the world and those at work or our friends don't even realize or know that we're Christians, then we're not serving and representing Jesus Christ well. So this passage here is a good reminder for us to take a look at our own lives and ask ourselves, uh, do we hang around with those who claim to be believers but live like the world? And then I would say go one step further. We need to ask ourselves, are we the immoral person that this passage is talking about? I encourage all of us to take a look at our lives this week and make sure we're being the bright shining light for Jesus Christ and representing him well. God bless.